What's going on YouTube? Effect Records here. Today I'm bringing you a video on how to install Xbox original games on the system itself along with burning them to a CD um, so you can go ahead and stick it in the system and then you can play it that way if you don't have enough hard drive space to install the games like if you haven't done an HDD upgrade yet on your Xbox. Um, these are the games that I have so far on my Xbox. I have a fun 500 gigabyte uh, hard drive that I'm working with. And I just download games periodically and stuff like that. So yeah, um, the only thing you really need is Image Burn, a computer with internet and TV and a soft modded Xbox. That's basically it. Um, you know, the necessities, you know, controller, you know, stuff like that. So yeah, um, let me get into it. All right, so now that we're at the computer, you can go ahead and install Image Burn. The link will be down in the description below. Just go ahead and install that. Once done, you can go ahead and open up the browser and go to the isozone.com. Where the top is, go ahead and select Downloads. And then you can go to Xbox ISOs right there, or you can use a scroll down menu. Go to Xbox ISOs. Now this is where you're going to be downloading the ISOs for Xbox Original. Um, you can either do it via the alphabet or you can just select a game. Alright, let's go ahead and if you wanted to say you wanted 007 Nightfire, go ahead and click it and then download the mirror link right there and then it should start downloading but let's say that you need a game that has multiple mirror links. Let's see if we can find them real quick. I right, like this game. Um, it shows two mirror links. Um, go ahead and download them both. And I'll show you why in a minute. And I'll show you how to uh, how to extract them to make them one ISO. So go ahead and download those. All right. Now, once they're downloaded, you're going to want to go to your downloads folder. And uh, right here, like you see how I have Halo Part 1, 2, and 3. Uh, to make them all one file, you just go ahead and extract files. And then desktop, as long as you select them all, and then hit OK. And then this should make them all one ISO file instead of three separates. Um, so yeah, that's how you're going to be doing that. I already have some games downloaded. So I'm going to go to this folder. And you want to extract the uh, WinRAR file or whatever um, until you get to the ISO. And then drag them over and make a new folder and do that. So yeah. But since you have the image burn of uh, software downloaded, go ahead and then run it. Alright, so it's going to bring you up something like this. And now you're going to hit write images file to disk. All right. So now you're going to want to insert the DVD-R into the CD port of the computer. Right. And then while that's loading up, you want to select where your games are and say I want to do burnout 2 right there go ahead and double click it or hit click it hit OK and then once this icon pops up that means your DVD is ready to go so all you gotta do is hit this button and then it'll go ahead and start the process of burning the ISO onto the DVD so I'll be back as soon as this one is about finished um, to continue Yep. alright so now the uh, uh, burning process is almost completed it's at 97 percent and then as soon as the buffer bar starts to go down that's when it's just about to finish uh, doing the uh, image burn onto the DVD-R just give it a little bit to uh, finalize the discs disc <laughs> and uh, the computer should eject it automatically um, 
but on my Alienware computer, um, it doesn't have a disk tray, so it'll say it failed to close um, the disk tray or whatever. It's some kind of error message, but it's fine. All right, it's almost done. And here it goes. All right, there it is. And then uh, there's the all attempts to automatically close the disk tray. I failed, whatever. So now that you have the game on the disk, you can go ahead and mark it with a Sharpie. That's what I usually do, just put Burnout 2 or B2 or whatever. And then I'm going to meet you over at the Xbox to show you how to um, insert it and install it or whatever like that. So, yep. See you over there. All right. So now once you have the CD burnt, um, as you see, I put Burnout 2 right on the disc. Um, there's two ways you can do this right now. You can go ahead and uh, open it up. This is if you're not going to install it on the system. Or even if you do install it, you can still do this way. And go ahead and close the uh, disk drive. As you see with the ISO burnt onto the disk. So now let that load up. And there's the game. So it uh, starts to load up and uh, all that fun stuff. Just like back in the day with the original Xbox. Alright, so now uh, since we see that that works, um, that's just if you don't have enough uh, hard hard uh, hard drive space to install it directly on the system. So now, if you want to go back to the main menu when you're in one of these kind of games, you can go ahead and uh, hold both the triggers and the uh, start and back button at the same time. Just go ahead and uh, hold that and it should reset the system. It's kind of hard to do because I need both hands to hold my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and set the phone down. Alright, so it's, uh, what it does is it resets and then for me it's going to go to the XBMC menu. Alright, just like that. So now, uh, with that being said, you can go to Programs and then uh, the, soft, uh, the soft mod should come with it. If not, you can get it from the isozone.com. Um, it should come up with uh, DVD to Xbox. Alright. So you can go to copy DVD CD uh, to hard drive, go to games, uh, burnout, and then this is where you're going to hit uh, start to proceed. So you're going to hit start, and then it's going to go ahead and install the game onto the system. Um, and this is how you basically um, put Xbox original games onto um, the hard drive of an original Xbox. So hopefully you like this video, um, that's basically it, just when it's done you can go ahead and go to games and then you'll see it in there and then all you have to do is click A and then it should play automatically. So that's basically it. If you like this video please comment, rate and subscribe and watch my other videos. Yep, peace.